getting ready to go have a little fun with the meetup with uh, the Riggs and Coffee. And then afterwards, we're going to go on a little trail ride up in the Ochocos. And Casey has decided where we're going to go. It's top secret. Nobody knows. You have to show up. You have to show it's up. It's the only way you can find out. Yeah, we've got a nice little run through the Ochco Mountains plan. So the idea behind today's run is kind of a beginning trail run, but it'll take us through some country where anybody that joins us for the trail ride today will be able to have an idea of some other places to go back into and explore. So that was kind of our thought process is we'll dip your toes in the water. You'll get a little dust on the rigs and we'll have a chance to stop and have a snack along the way. And dust will be plentiful, I suspect, today. It'll be plentiful, but it'll be a good time. No there's a fair amount of smoke in the mountains too. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Really been enjoying the rigs and coffee events. It's a great opportunity to just get to meet other people that are kind of interested in the same thing. And then we all get to look at each other's rigs and camping setups and get ideas. So it's very cool. It's been a nice mix of people, some beginners, some more experienced people. So everybody can just kind of yeah. share and learn from each other. It's just a really cool experience. Living out in Primeville and doing what I do with the overlanding and everything, you're kind of isolated. There's not a lot of people. It's a small community out here. So events like this have been, really have been how I've met most of the people that I end up going out on group trips with and things now. So very, very cool to see this kind of, this little community building up here in my own hometown. Kelly again here at PNR Specialties at our Rigs and Coffee event and got a lot of awesome rigs. We're gonna do some interviews with the different folks. This is Jet and we're taking a look at his awesome gladiator with Nally Cab, kind of stuck out. So I thought maybe we'd chat with him for a minute and tell us about your build. Yeah, yeah, so I essentially built it just to go on trail and do a lot of camping. It's not really like a crawler type or anything crazy like that. Like I feel like a lot of people are building Jeeps like that these days. Yeah. We're on 37 inch tires on 17s. I just put the Alu cab on there maybe like two two months ago, three months ago. I've just been using it a lot. The Sally cab thing that's really cool about it is it's a rooftop tent slash canopy, but like he was telling me earlier, you can stand up inside it. So a little different take on a, a, on a build. Um, super useful though i mean practical like yes. say, especially for two people yeah two people your dog whatever yeah, you know in yeah. bad weather it's nice to have the space in there awesome i appreciate you taking time yeah right on man Breaking live on the scene here, we have the convoy rolling out for the Riggs and Coffee event. Here comes Casey Kaiser of Coyote Works in the lead with a whole slew of Jeeps, Toyotas, and everything under the sun. At some point, I'll have to retreat from the dust. <laughs> yeah, it 
didn't have any siblings growing up, so when we go camping, it's fine. There are a lot of things. I know. I rocked it back and forth and laid under there and had somebody rock it back and forth, and I can't identify it. And they've just got shot. And you got your wheels off the ground and tried that. For the longest time, man, I see that and I would stare at it. I would just 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 stare at it